Tinatinan mo, ito yung portion na kung saan kausap ni Jesus ang rich young man. Nasaan ang mga disciples? Lahat nasa likod, nasa likod niya. Why? Because they are trying to learn not only through what Jesus says, but through what they see in Jesus. Leading by example. Amen. Kaya kung leaders po tayo dito sa community, lead by example. Ang apostle naman po, Latin na uh, apostolus, which means one who is sent or to send forth. So disciple, tagasunod, a little one who learns, staying behind the master, ang apostle ay sent na. Apo, stelo, doon ang galing yun, which means to send away from. Apostolus. Kaya kung tutuusin, technically speaking, nung nag-outreach po kayo sa Gamu, Isabela, tayo pala, kasama pala ako doon. <laughs> technically, apostol na po tayo. We were sent. Not in the strict sense na talaga apostol, di ba? Yung mga bishops po yun. But somehow, we were sent. And God called you to do that. Wow. Be proud of that. Wow, you are instruments of God. Ang layo nga, di ba? Lahat kayo may dalang kumot, ako wala. <laughs> wala nagsabi. Ang lamig pala ng bus. <laughs> Sent forth. So when God calls, it is to, number one, to be with someone, not something. And to do something for someone. At sino yun? To be with someone and to do something for Jesus. To be with Jesus and to do something for Him. Yan ang dihilang ko bakit tayo tinawag. It is to be with Jesus and to be sent by Jesus or to be sent by the community. Don't send yourselves. Kaya nga importante na may community ho tayo. Again, let us emphasize when God calls, it is to be with someone. God is faithful by whom you are called unto fellowship with His Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 9. Kung mapapansin po ninyo ang mga readings natin for the past few days, until last week, first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Maganda yata yung first reading kanina. Eh. Hindi yung para bukas, ah, yung kanina. So you are sent to do something also for someone. Ano yun? To God's church, which is in Corinth, to you whom God has sanctified in Christ Jesus and called to be holy. So what are we supposed to do? To be with Jesus, to build His church. Ano yung pangatlo? To be holy. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Wala na sumagot. Baka kailangan nyo naman biskuit ulit. <laughs> To be holy. We are called to be holy. Don't forget that, brothers and sisters in Christ. Be holy as our Father is holy. Baka sabihin po natin, pagiging bala, lagi kang nakaluhod, lagi kang nagdarasal, lagi kang nagro-rosaryo, eh baka may ina-exaggerate mo. To be holy is to simply what? To be who you are and to live out the sacraments in our lives. Amen. Hindi pinahirap ng Diyos eh. Kung nagkasala po tayo, lalo kung mortal sin, magumpisal. Kung malilayot lang, venial sins can be forgiven in the Holy Mass. Pero mas maganda, kung hindi ko kumpisal din natin, for greater peace of heart and peace of mind. Kaya, threefold invitation of Christ. Introduction pa lang yung kanina. Matthew 11.28 Come to me, all of you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Pag may problema, ang sagot pala para sa ating Panginoon Diyos, ang solusyon, rest. Kaya hindi mo anag, oh. Kaya mga nabibigatan, lumapit sa akin, I will give you rest. Eh bakit marami sa atin pag may problema, aligagang aligaga, hindi makatulog. Malalaman natin mamaya yan. Come to me. Pag sinabi po natin come, the definition of the word come in the dictionary means to approach, move nearer, proceed, tumuloy ka. Diba, misa, pag may kumakatok, tao po, Nika, come. And ito maganda, nakita ko sa dictionary, to be available. Kaya yung mga tumutugon sa ating Panginoon Diyos, sila po yung mga may availability or oras na binibigay sa Diyos. Tayo nga lahat dito, available eh. Kaya tayo nandito, amen? 
Yung iba, walain mo, walang oras. Ang daming dahilan, hindi available. Nalala ko sa isang restaurant, no, to be available. Ang taba ko pa dyan. 